Titus chapter 1. Shaul, a servant of Elohim, and an emissary of Yeshua Messiah, according to the belief of Elohim's chosen ones, and knowledge of the truth, according to reverence, in expectation of everlasting life, which Elohim, who does not lie, promised before times of old, but in its own times has manifested his word through preaching, with which I was entrusted according to the command of Elohim, our Savior, to Titus, a genuine child according to our common belief, favor, compassion, peace from Elohim the Father and Master Yeshua Messiah, our Savior. The reason I left you in Crete was that you should straighten out what was left undone and appoint elders in every city as I commanded you. If anyone is unreprovable, the husband of one wife, having believing children, not accused of loose behavior or unruly, for an overseer has to be unreprovable as a managing one of Elohim, not self-pleasing, not wroth, not given to wine, no brawler, not greedy for filthy gain, but kind to strangers, a lover of what is good, sensible, righteous, set apart, self-controlled, clinging to the word, trustworthy word according to the teaching in order to be able both to encourage by sound teaching and to convict those who oppose it. For there are many unruly men, senseless talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths have to be stopped, who upset entire households, teaching what they should not teach for the sake of filthy gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This witness is true. Therefore rebuke them sharply in order for them to be sound in their belief, not paying attention to Yehudi fables and commands of men who turn from the truth. Indeed, all matters are clean to the clean, but those who are defiled and unbelieving, no matter is clean, but both their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know Elohim, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unfit for any good work. Titus chapter 2 but you, speak what is fitting for sound teaching. The older men are to be sober, serious, sensible, sound in belief, in love, in endurance. The older women, likewise, are to be set apart in behavior, not slanderers, not given to much wine, teachers of what is good, in order for them to train the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be sensible, blameless, workers at home, good subject to their own husbands, in order that the word of Elohim is not spoken is not evil spoken of. Likewise urge the young men to be sensible. Show yourself to them an example of good works in all matters. In teaching show uncorruptness, seriousness, soundness of speech beyond reproach, in order that the opponent is put to shame, having no evil word to say about you. Servants should be subject to their own matters, to be well-pleasing in every way, not back-talking, not stealing, not showing all good trustworthiness, but, but showing all good trustworthiness, so that they adorn the teaching of Elohim, our Savior, in every way. For the saving gift of Elohim has appeared to all men, instructing us to renounce wickedness and worldly lust, and to live sensibly righteously and reverently in the present age, looking for the blessed expectation and esteemed appearance of the great Elohim and our Savior Yeshua Messiah, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people, his own possession, ardent for good works. Speak these matters, urge and convict with all authority, let no one despise you. Titus chapter 3 
Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities to obey, to be ready for every good work, not to slander anyone, not to be quarrelsome, to be gentle, showing all meekness to all men. For we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, led astray, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in evil and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and the love of Elohim our Savior toward man appeared, he saved us, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his compassion. Through the washing of re- and through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the set-apart Spirit, which He poured out on us richly through Yeshua, Messiah, our Savior, that, having been declared right by His favor, we should become heirs according to the expectation of everlasting life. Trustworthy is the Word, and in this regard, I wish you to strongly affirm that those who have believed in Elohim should keep their minds on maintaining good works. This is good and profitable to men, but keep away from the foolish questions and genealogies and strife and quarrels about the Torah, for they are unprofitable and useless. Reject a divisive man after the first and second warning, knowing that such a one has been perverted and sins being self-condemned. When I, sh- when I shall send Artemis to you, or to Cocos, to Chicos, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to send Zenos the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey, so that they lack none at all. And our brothers should also learn to maintain good works, to meet urgent needs, so that they shall not be without fruit. All those with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the belief. Favor be with you all. Amen.